Hey dude, Thub here. Hope you're doing well this morning. Y'all seem to like the dumpster diving videos. Now tell me, why is that? Do you dumpster dive yourself? And if so, what is it you're going for? Treasure for your own personal use? Food? Um, money? The fun of it? Or are you just here because it's weird and kind of gross? Ugh. Well, whatever it is, we're going on a different sort of garbage adventure today. Because today, we're going bottle picking. Wolf <laughs> garbage day is? Uh, Fridays. Oh, okay, cool. So, I think I'll try again on Thursday morning. Okay, so this was after about an hour. First impressions, you gotta start early. Like, I'm talking as soon as there's enough light to see early. Because somebody has definitely been through here already, and if you want to get to the cream, it's first come, first serve. Despite that, whoever it was still left enough meat on the bone for the next guy. What that says to me is they were going through with a mind for speed. They wanted to get through their route as quickly as possible. Seek mentorship. Look for people who are better at doing what you're trying to do, and emulate them. The next thing? My noodle arms are really, really tired. People who do this all the time, leave the wine bottles and other glass behind. And although I understood why, now I can feel why. In addition to that, a car is not much of an inch because hopping in and out of it all the time is a waste of your time. Oh, and the final thing I've learned? Carrying this beast of a camera is a terrible plan. Let's regroup, review what we've learned, and go at this again, equipped with knowledge and experience. All right, we're back. Currently 7 a.m. Kinda cold, not that bad. I think my hands are gonna get cold though. Let's see if we have any better luck. I decided to use this cart-like device. A shopping cart would be a little more traditional, but I'm excited to have this. Uh, starting to think I came out on the wrong day. My hands are starting to warm up a little bit, but they're still supremely cold. I would say the professionals probably have gloves that they chose for warmth rather than protection from the icky stuff. And they also probably know better than to show up the day after garbage day. Mom, don't drink me! Yeah, Mom. Get your own booze. What about that one? No, that one's okay. This one's for mom. Nope. Nope. This sucks. One, two, three, four, five, fourteen. Well, that's a step in the right direction. My hands are still wicked cold though. I'd love to try all of those. But there's a little bit left. But is it art? It's a hard night of life for us. It's hard not life. Ooh, I got some of them leaders. My mama would be real proud of me now. And I've also learned that it'd be a good idea to just keep some duct tape with you. Smooth, buttery pavement. I'm gonna clean this up. Not because of good karma. If that's a real thing. I'm cleaning it up because it's a mess. What?
Nine. I've been doing this for two hours. Just look at this guy. He likes garbage more than I do. Nothing. However, that's what makes it all worthwhile. So people who do this, bless your generous, kind-hearted soul. The things a person will do for 35 cents. Somebody's already been in here, I can tell by the hole in that thing. But for some reason, it doesn't look like they know these are worth money. That's a buck fifty. Retail and consumer service. Huh. So if anybody considers this beautiful or art, it's not gonna last. Boom. Thank you, Perrier, for deciding to go one liter. Okay, I gotta show you this one. I just flipped those two out. And then I noticed this is just a bag full of wine bottles. All right, new plan. If you're gonna drink wine bottles, drink a lot. I'm gonna come back for those. Oh, heck yeah. I have no sweet clue where I parked my car. Huh, letting bed for one bin. This is actually going pretty well, but seriously, all I want is my car. I think I'm getting separation anxiety. Wouldn't be so bad if I actually thought I knew where it was. I'm thinking, slash really, really hoping, this is the street that I had parked on. Ah, crap. I don't see my car anywhere. I'm not 100% sure, but I think I see my car. That is totally my car. Uh, I'm so sorry. I missed you so much. Uh, uh. I gotta go grab the real stash. It'll be way too long to find her again. So hopefully, my stash and my cart are still there. If my loaded cart isn't happily waiting for there for me, well, that'll be the downside. Answer is yes. I'm gonna use this for the gas. <laughs> I'm so glad that worked out. So, what have we learned? In practice, number one, a cart is an absolute necessity. And I don't know why. Everybody doesn't use a luggage trolley because it works fantastic. Um, definitely bring duct tape along because you'll need it for something. Ooh, you want to start in the area with the highest population density. So wherever it has the most recycling bins or the most people with the largest bins because you want to be the first person to hit those, definitely. And finally, you're probably fine to just stash the glass in little boxes or bags and come pick it up later if you have a vehicle because the majority of people out there who are doing this I don't think they have a vehicle. Hey, here's a tip for anybody who might be watching this. If you're gonna be drinking wine, you snooty pig, at least move into a rich person's neighborhood with really nice, smooth pavement because it's a real pain to be hauling those things around in a cart bumping over rocks. So if you're gonna drink like a rich person, live like a rich person. Or get your wine in a bag, like everybody else. Let's go grab the glass and see where we're at. Radio. Stash number one. Stash number two. 
Stash number three. Whew. That's not so bad, is it? Put some small copper, all that wire, and this roll of plastic, which I don't actually know what it's for. Morning. I'm great, how are you? Good. Let's hit the recycling depot and see how we did today. Thank you very much. All right, that's 32 bucks, which ain't bad considering today was the day after garbage pickup, even though I thought it was the day before garbage pickup. Now that I know that, you're kidding yourself if you think I'm giving up now. Right on, about 7.30, minus one degree. I wish my light was a little better for this shot, but I'm starting a little late, so I'm not gonna piss around. I'm just gonna get started. First real find of the day, someone drinks a lot of kombucha. Beautiful piece of artwork. Yes. Little piece of treasure, gotta take that. Ain't that a beautiful sight? Couple more. Ain't so bad. Gross. Maple scissor. It's the good stuff. leave those behind and hopefully they're still here. Is that a risk we're gonna take? Odds are there's treasures in these. Not bad for one bin. 79. I lost a wheel. At least I still have the wheel. But that's not a good thing. So I made a new friend who's also out here looking for treasure. And uh, I don't think he was super happy to see me. So we talked about it, not that he was in a very conversational mood, and uh, agreed to go in opposite directions, which I think will work great for both of us. Food waste makes me sad. There we go. Nice little morning smoothie. Gorgeous. In one bin. I'm not surprised old Salty wasn't too stoked to see me. I'm sure he's got a long day out of him. Besides, I'm not so upset. That is a lovely sight. Oh, that's a real lovely sight. Oh, cow. No complaints here. What? This is heavy. These are full. I'm gonna have to come back for these. All right. Whoa, holy cow, that's, too, that's really too bad. <coughs> 33 and 32, wish those fit me. Levi's look good on my buns. Isn't that just a beautiful sight? Not as beautiful as this though. I just have to go back and find all my glass drop-offs, and we'll see how this turned out. Turns out it did remember my duct tape after all. Great job. That's one, and that's me too. I don't think that one was me, but I'll take it.
Well, that makes $41 from today's adventure, which is a lot better than the first day's $12, but not as much better as I thought from the previous day's $32. Part of that is because of my late start, without which I wouldn't have run into old whiskers there. But I'm glad I did, because now I have a route that doesn't overlap his. I found a lot of other neat stuff too. A big chunk of brass, a lot of Christmas lights, and a whole box of these green tea ginger ales. It's a hard job though. I mean, you get plenty of exercise and sort of fresh air, but it is a lot of effort for not much money. I would not suggested as a career choice. Curiously, the cold is the best and the worst part. Of course, having frozen fingers is terrible, but it also keeps the smell down, and it uh, keeps that recycling juice from getting all over everything. I'd say this experiment was a success. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, thank you for crushing that like button. Plenty more adventures are on the way, so I'll see you then. Until then, keep doing the thing. Bing! Yeah.